<laughs> you know, when I got this bag, I was not shooting YouTube videos. I got it from the store. This was a store fresh bag. And I was extremely shocked when I got this bag. So my filming of the whole experience, even for myself, was pretty um, bad because I was just in shock and I was crying. I was crying. <laughs> you know, I, I was crying. And if you get it, you get it. And if you don't get it, you don't get it, okay? I was crying. Welcome to another episode of Tiwa Did That. A very special episode of Tiwa Did That, if I do say so myself. Now, what do we do on Tiwa Did That? We do luxury skincare, luxury fashion, and luxury travel. Now, I know that in the past few videos, it's been pretty strictly luxury fashion, and this does look like an unboxing, but believe it or not, this is a luxury travel video, which is so exciting. I'm sure you can tell by the title of this video that we are here to discuss how to fly with a Birkin bag, which would suggest that there is a Birkin in this box, which there is. And we're gonna get there in a second. But what I wanna show you guys right now is um, what's in this bag. I actually stopped at my Hermes store yesterday because of this trip. I wanted to pick something cute up to wear on the plane, which sounds ridiculous, but this is like a really good idea, is what I'm telling myself. And <laughs> and it doesn't come in a box, right? Which is very odd for something from Hermes. Does not come in a box, but I really thought I'd like this, and um, I do, I do. So you guys check this out. This is a wool hat from Hermes, okay? Really, really gorgeous detailing right there on the front, MS Cellier. We have this lovely wool here, also wool here. I'm gonna spin that around for you girls. And we have a little plastic on the, top, on the bottom. Should we peel that off together? Let's. God, can I do this without looking? It's not going very well. It's not going very well. It is not going very well. Okay, we're gonna do that on my own time. So this is the hat, I think it's really cute. Still got the tag, I guess I could pull that off. Cause I wanna show you guys the hat on. Ooh, and look at this, silk lining. Okay, we have a silk lining on this hat. Just gorgeous, you know? One thing about them is the quality is there, honey. You don't even need to worry. So here's what it looks like. Really, really cute. I love the paneling here. It works for my head shape because I have, um, well, I don't know what head shape I have, girl. I know this hat looks good on it. Okay, so that's the tea. This was a little quick unboxing. I just wanted to get it done so that I could wear this to the airport. Like I said, we're here to check out my bag and how I take it to the airport. So the first thing that I wanna talk about when I talk about flying with my Birkin is a bag insert. Now, there's a lot of bag inserts out there and they have different jobs. I know 7RP is a great brand for bag inserts. They make excellently tailored custom bag inserts that fit your bag perfectly wall to wall. And that can be what you want if you wanna keep the form of your bag, blah, blah, blah. But actually, Hermes makes their own bag inserts, which is very odd because, you know, you could argue that if you make a bag, it should be able to be used as it is and it shouldn't need any accoutrements in order to be useful. But they make their own bag inserts and I have one right here. This is the Furby 40. It is a soft um, bag insert. And the reason why this works so well is because it actually doesn't take up the whole bag. I'll show you guys when I put it in. Um, it doesn't take up the whole bag, which makes it very easy to take out and put back in the bag, which is gonna come in handy when you're at the airport and you need to get into your bag and take everything out so that when you pass it through the scanner, you don't have some TSA agent running around your insanely expensive bag. So this is really my choice when it comes to bag inserts. We have a lot of storage here. Two pockets on the outside 
and two on the other side. We have a zip pocket over here, real cute, and a gaping space in here that can also be adjusted with these pulleys right here on the side. I love this. I use it all the time, as you can see. <laughs> it's actually already prepared for my flight. So I'm gonna just run you guys really quickly through what is in here. So we have a microfiber cloth. This microfiber cloth is extremely important for flying with a Birkin because when you get where you're going and it's all said and done, there's nothing that I found more beneficial to keeping my bag in mint condition than taking a microfiber cloth, look at the detail on that, really, really, you know, lint-free. I mean, you can use this to polish silver, okay? And so I take this and I just go over the surface of the bag. I'll show you guys a little bit later. This really keeps the dirt, lint, dust, whatever you may have picked up on your travel, just wipe it right off, nice and dry, no drama, no fuss. This is also great for hardware. I'll show you guys that in a moment. Now we have this. This is actually from Hermes as well. <laughs> this is a little pouch that I keep, you know, toiletries in, perfume samples, um, moisturizer, lip balm, a little mento, gotta keep it cute. And um, yeah, that's what I keep in here. And then also my mini wallet. This is just a few credit cards and an extra ID for when I take a smaller bag or if I'm just, you know, if I need to just, Get out, girl. Um, and then I have some AirPods in here. Shout out that. So I'm gonna put that back in. And then we can move on to what else is in here. I have a book in here. I am an intellectual hunty. Um, I'm reading Lord of the Rings right now. I love the movies. And I just thought, why don't I get the tea from the source? And it's been great. I've almost finished this first book. So we're moving right along to my big wallet. This has a little bit of cash and some credit cards, extra ID, you know how that goes. Get an extra ID, you guys. I have never had better advice than getting a second driver's license. <sighs> Iconic. So yeah, other wallet. Dior glasses, I don't need to say anything more. I swear by these composite 1.1s. They have served me since college, hunty. And you know, I love them. So let's move on to the rest of this pouch. We have hand cream. Moisturizing your hands at the airport after you wash them 940 times is priceless, okay? A hand cream, a small hand cream, nothing else to say. So let's put all this stuff back in here and I'm gonna show you guys now. We're getting to the magical point in this video. And if you follow me on Instagram, by the way, if you follow me on Instagram, um, you will know what my Birkin looks like already. And this won't be a surprise to you or, you know, whatever. But I hope, you know, it's still an interesting video. So if you came for the Birkin reveal, congratulations, it's right now. So here's the box. And this is the biggest Hermes box I have ever received, which makes sense. Because this is the biggest Hermes purchase I ever made. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so... By the way, let's just add, super important to keep your Hermes box from when you get bags because they will not give you another one. They will not give you another one. Louis Vuitton has given me extra bags, extra um, dust bags, extra boxes, blah, blah, blah. Hermes, no. Anyway, <laughs> that is why I keep this and I still have it and I also store this bag in here every single time, okay? Keep your orange boxes, guys. They will not give you another one. Let's pop off this lid. It's been so long since I've done this. And sorry I never showed you guys this bag. <laughs> you know, when I got this bag, I was not shooting YouTube videos. But here it is. It is um, a Birkin 40. And I want you guys to guess what color it is, if you haven't seen it, okay? Guess the color in the comments of this bag. So this is my Birkin. Let's take it out and then I'm gonna show you guys how I prepare to travel with it. Here we go, here we are. Guys, I am literally crazy because I put a piece of plastic over my handles 
get this, so that while I store it, while it's in the box in my closet, dust doesn't get into the bag. I, you know, if you get it, you get it. Like, I'm, so, I'm not gonna explain myself, okay? But I take care of this bag. I take care of all my bags, but this one, don't play with this one. Don't play with this one. So, plastic off. And that's the other thing. I actually, when I, whenever I use it, it's so big. Whenever I use it, I take all the plastic and I start putting it in the box, okay? So that I can use it. So here's the bag. Guys, oh my God. I get so emotional whenever I see this bag because, you know, when I first started shopping at Hermes, I didn't even know if I wanted a Birkin. I didn't know, because, you know, masculinity told me that I didn't need a handbag. But as I grew up and I started to, you know, be a little bit more um, of an independent thinker, <laughs> I ended up deciding that, you know, I do want a, a, a bag and I do want this bag. And guys, this bag is the exact bag that I wanted. That is the joy of getting your bag directly from Hermes. You can give them a request and eventually <laughs> they will give you a call. And so that's what happened with this. But we could discuss that story a different day. What we're here to talk about is how I prepare to fly with this bag and how I've been flying with this bag and it is still in perfect condition, hunty. I do not play with this bag. It is in perfect condition. Let's get some details, okay? Let's get some deets. Okay, this is, and the specs are, Birkin 40 Togo leather palladium hardware in the Retorn style. Now what does that mean? That means the stitching is on the inside and the cording is on the outside. We have the blue, which is deep blue, is the name of this blue. And this bag is stuffed to the brim right now with plastic because that is why it keeps its shape so well, even when I use it and I travel with it, blah, blah, blah. But how do I take it from storage to use when I'm flying? That's what this is all about. I have to take out the plastic from this bag, and this is something I really wanna to touch on. When you fly with leather, it can sometimes come with these plastic fillings. You know, this is just an example, there's much more, but this, Air-filled plastic is the poison of flying with expensive leather because when you fly in a pressurized cabin, you will have these pieces of plastic expand and damage your bag. It'll pull the bag as it's expanding and you can really damage your leather. And so when I fly with this bag, I actually have to remove all this plastic and put it in the box, which typically I leave behind. Even though when I moved, oh my God, when I moved, transporting this box was extremely difficult, but I had to do it because I knew that I wasn't gonna get another one. <laughs> so here's all the plastic in this bag, you guys. I wasn't kidding. You know, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of plastic in here, but that is how, um, everything stays cute. Okay, here's the inside of the bag. I have a spare dust bag. Don't ask me how I got it. I have a spare dust bag in the bottom of this bag to just stop the bottom from getting dusty. And then I also have, of course, the bag insert we talked about. You can see here that even though it'll fit quite snugly in the bag, it won't take up corner to corner. And that's important because you want to be able to jump in and out. And how does this bag open? You may already know that Birkins need the arms or the sangles released, and then you can extend the bag and really get in there. Some people carry their bags like this, but that's for like people with nine bags. I have one Birkin, you guys, one. And so I'm very, very um, delicate with it, and I don't really leave the sangles hanging around. So um, I'm gonna show you guys how I put this insert in here and then I'm going to show you how I go in the airport with it and what I do. So like I said, the bag insert, this is a Furby 40, which is designed specifically for this size of Birkin. This is a Birkin 40. Did I mention that in the description? 
Girl, I hope so. It's a Birkin 40. And so um, this fits in here, but not too snugly, like I said. So let's open the bag up and put this in. It can go in sideways. <laughs> and you just want to make sure you're not hitting anything on your way down so there we go the insert is in and let me show you guys how easy this is to remove when you're in the tsa you know security check and you're sitting there with your super expensive bag you don't want to be some sort of psychopath who's like saying oh, no, 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 it's a birkin, it's a birkin. you have to take care of your bag but don't be obnoxious you know and so for me that's always um avoiding complications with my bag. And so that is why when I'm in the line for security, I simply undo my sandals, okay? So the bag can be opened and I grab my bag insert. Oh, I love that sweat patch, so cute. Um, I grab my bag insert, pull it right out, put it on the side. And then what do I do with the actual bag? I take the bag, draw my sandals back in, Okay, and then I put it right back in its dust bag. And how does it go in the dust bag with one hand? Because you will need one hand while you're at the airport. You can't put it down on a counter. So up to the shoulder. This is like, guys, this is a science because I have to be able to do this and I have to be able to do it well. Up to the shoulder, round the front corner, round the back corner, shake it, pull it around. Boom, boom, boom. And that can go in a bucket, go straight through the scanner. There's nothing in the bag. There's nothing for them to check. There's nothing to pull you to the side for. And so you don't have anyone else touching your bag, which is the point, girl. The point is you don't want extra handling of a bag like this. You just don't. And so that is how I do it. That is how I fly. Sometimes, if I want to be a little more low-key, I will actually carry the bag like this with the insert in through the airport, just like this. You know, it's all about protecting the bag. You know, I love a little airport serve. I love giving the girls what they want by having this bag and looking sickening when I'm going from gate to gate. But my priority is always taking care of this bag. And so my system is pretty down pat. I've been practicing it for some time. And as you can see, um, this bag is no worse for wear for all my traveling. So I think that it works. Ooh, and I wanted to show you guys what I do with the microfiber. So I told you guys I keep a microfiber cloth in my bag insert so that when I get where I'm going, I can simply just a light wipe side to side in the crevices, in the corners, on the feet, on the bottom, on the piping you know, and then just a little polish on my hardware. And you know what I love about this bag? The hardware, this metal, doesn't require use, you know, unless you want to close the bag and, and pull the arms over, you're never really touching this hardware. And so even though this bag is over two years old, um, the hardware does not have a single scratch because I am a psychopath and I will... <laughs> Never allow anything to happen to this bag if I can help it. I know not everybody has one of these bags. I know it's not terribly relatable, but I don't know. I think it's cool trivia and it's good tea for any bag. How to fly it with things that you love is difficult. Because like I said, you're balancing your personal proclivities with, you know, a level of public consideration. And I feel like this is the perfect example of how to manage those two things. So I guess we can end this video with a little footage of what I'm gonna be up to next week and where I'm going with this beautiful piece of leather. And yeah, roll footage. Should I say roll footage? Ugh, no, that's really basic. Okay, I'm just gonna cut to it, okay? So now we're back here, even though I already went on vacation. I hope I had fun. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna wrap this up, the bag and this video, by saying thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for my um, 
opportunity to give you guys this Birkin reveal. Anyway, to cut a very long video shorter, um, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. I'll tell you I did that. Bye.